Hey there everybody, it's Steve and today I was messing with stairs <clears throat> and I kind of figured out finally how to kind of get this this kind of a look on a stair just using Chief's tools mostly so I thought I'd show you and uh, I'll do this as I, quick as I can. Here is the stair that I drew that we're looking at and uh, for some reason my cameras don't show up. I guess I have them turned off. I'll just turn these on. There we go. So there's what we were looking at and um, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you what I did here. So let's just click a sit straight stair here and pivot it around and um, we will do something similar here. In fact, I'll just probably move it about right there and draw some walls and move these into position here. And uh, if we take a look at that, you know, you'll just have your typical chief stare where it doesn't fit correctly on the wall. And I'm going to change this. I painted this gray just because it shows up a little better. But uh, so you can kind of see what's going on there. And um, let's continue to work on this. Uh, this wall I'm going to bring all the way out just f to make it easier. And the way I figured this out, <clears throat> you open this stair here. And I'm going to lock the number of treads. And I'm going to make the tread depth 11 just to keep it simple. Uh, railings, I am going to um, turn that off. And I'm also going to not have a stringer. Okay. So that's pretty good. So let's just take a look at that. All right. So we got a wall rail. Let's do this. Let's just open this up. Hit that. And um, probably needs to be more open than that. But if we go upstairs here, yeah, looks pretty good. So what we have here is I want to show like the first four treads. And have the handrail die into the end of this 2x4 wall. <clears throat> so what I figured I would do is draw a stair. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's make it 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And open it here and make it... Uh, I'm going to make it 3 inches wide. I'm going to take the railings off for now okay and no stringer and I think that's good for now and then the other thing you got to do is look here on the general tab it's seven like if we were going to uncheck that automatic heights um, it's seven and five eighths riser, one and twenty two and five eighths, one twenty two and five eighths to the top, seven eighths to the bottom. And um, this one here, we got to make it the same. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to make this seven point six two five. And lock the number of treads. So, oh, the other thing was the this tread depth should be 11 to match the other one now i'm going to use point to point and move this right to here and then i'm going to pull this wall down till it lines up and i'm going to open this and i am going to put a railing on the left and let's just take a look at that there you go and it lines up pretty good um let's just paint this here. I got too thick of a handrail sticking out past the newel, but maybe if I, maybe I can offset that newel. Uh, offset one inch. Let's put it zero. Yeah, there we go. 
now it'll be all right. There you go. So <clears throat> the next thing we got to do is fill in this little gap right here. So the way you do that is you actually, we're going to copy this and paste it out here and take the railing off. And so we know the treads all line up. I'm going to take the arrow off this also. We don't need the up arrow on this little section. And oh, I guess I didn't take it off. There you go. And also on this section, I'm going to take the arrow off. Okay. And then I am going to make this two inches. And I think that's about as small as you can make it actually. And I'm going to use point to point and paint right there and then look at the camera. And there you go. Now it doesn't line up perfectly right there. If you look at it in vector view, it's sticking out just a little bit. And you can mess with that by, um, uh, you could do a number of things, but let's just say we open this one here and instead of making it three, we make it two. And let's just pull this one out for a second. And we put this point to point. There we go. The thing is, it gets a little, you know, too close to the edge here. So if you put this one point to point, and you look at the full camera, now it's too far in, but you can stretch this one out a little. And there you go. It looks pretty good in regular view, and that's probably as good as you're going to get it. You can play around with it and make it perfect, but <clears throat> that's about as good as you're going to get. And if you noticed, I took the, the skirt boards off because I wanted to show you quickly how you can do like a custom skirt board like I have on this stair, where it has a base cap on the top and it trims down. So I thought I'd show you real quick how I would do that. I'd use a section back clip camera and just put it close here. Well, that's not right because I went the wrong thing. Sorry, folks. Section back clip. There you go. And then just um, use your draw line from here to say here and then convert that with this tool down here to a mold, 3D molding polyline and then replace, oh, I'm gonna show you one thing. Okay, so it's gonna put the standard molding on here, but what I did is I want my own molding. So what I did is I, I drew a polyline like this and I made it 0.75 by 11. It doesn't matter how big you make it. And then I've created a molding called base cap and I turned it, there's a base cap in the software, but it, it's upside, it's this way. And I wanted it this way, so, well, maybe there, this one is, okay, so there's one right there. So just place molding profile right here, and then go point to point. I thought I created my own, but I guess I didn't. And now you have two polylines, just group those, and then use this right down here, polyline union, delete original, grab that, and then add it to your library, and call it stair let's give it an a a a stair skirt board with cap and i've already created one of these but you'll you'll get my point so you create your own molding you go to your cross section you got this molding polyline right here replace this one go to your user catalog there's your skirt board with cap and check the dimensions here. And I really can't stand the fact, that, I, I mean, I, I'm i glad Chief kind of did this right here, but these should open so I wouldn't have to drag them every damn time. It's a pain in the ass. And then you need to vertically offset it, say minus 10, okay? And you'll see what happens. There you go. Now, you can, you can play with this molding here. And um, I'm gonna get this zoom tool here, zoom in right here and pull this down like that and then you can grab this triangle and pull it down and there you go and if it's sticking out too far just drag it back a little there you go 
and then up at the top do the same thing drag it up drag it over and drag it up to wherever you want it maybe about right there and uh, if we look at that you'll see looks pretty good it's a really nice skirt board a little more traditional so uh, and you can do that both sides what have you and uh, that's a quick tip on how to make a stair hit a wall end which is a very common stair and uh, Chiefs should just do this automatically, let's face it. And we've been waiting for years, and uh, I guess it's more difficult than it looks. So we'll cut them a little slack. And uh, hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.